What's up guys? Today we are going to be slowing things down with a little recovery day workout. We're going to be getting in a full body stretch. So you don't need any equipment for this one, just an exercise mat or a soft surface. I'm going to be guiding you through the routine today. So clear some space and follow along. We're going to get started right now. Okay guys, we're gonna start standing up here, taking a nice big inhale, reaching those hands up overhead, stretch it out, and then exhale, let it go, fold forward. Let's do that again. Inhale, reach up, and exhale, folding forward. One more time, just like that, reach, reach, reach. Use your breath, exhale, let it go. We're just gonna hang here for a moment in this forward fold, let everything hang nice and heavy. Relax the head, the neck, the shoulders, the jaw. Release tension in that lower back. And then very slowly, we're gonna roll our way up to the top. Give me a little shoulder roll to the back, opening up the chest. And we're gonna make our way to the top of our mat here. Walking forward now, coming into that high plank, slowly lowering, and then pressing up into that upward facing dog or a cobra. Release down, lift the hips back up into that downward dog. Just slowly shifting the weight, pedaling out the feet, getting a nice stretch through the back of those legs and through the glutes. That's it, walking back to the top of your mat. Let's do that again. Nice big overhead reach, folding forward walking out into that high plank, slowly lower, pressing up cobra or upward facing dog. Connecting with your breath here, exhale as you fold back into that down dog, pedaling out those feet once more, really pressing the heel down, pausing for a moment, feeling that pull through the calf. We're gonna inhale, float that right leg up to the sky, and then exhale, stepping forward, coming into a lunge, dropping the left knee. The left arm reaches up and over. You wanna feel a nice stretch through that left side. Placing the left hand on the ground, right hand comes up to the sky. If you want a little extra stretch here, you can grab on to that left ankle or foot to get a nice stretch through that left quad muscle. Taking some nice slow breath here and release both hands to the ground, stepping back into that high plank, flowing through to upward dog once more, and then press up downward facing dog. Let's do the other side. Exhale, step forward with that left foot, reaching up, right hand comes up and over this time, feeling that stretch through the right side. Placing the right hand down to the ground, left arm opens up to the sky, bringing your gaze to those fingertips. And going in for the little deeper quad stretch, if it feels good for you today. Making sure to listen to your body. Don't push yourself out of your comfort zone here. And stepping back high plank, lowering down into that upward facing dog. This time we're gonna press back into our child's pose, letting the knees come out wide, keep those arms straight. We're gonna shift our weight over to the left side, making sure that right hip stays down, keeping the hips square to your mat. And then shifting our weight, walking the hands over to the right side now. That's it, coming back to center. We're just gonna slowly press ourselves up to a seated position here, clasping the hands behind the back, press the palms down, lift the chest. And if it feels okay, you're just gonna nod your head yes and no. Nice and slow and controlled here, feeling a nice stretch through the neck, through the back, the shoulders and the chest. Working with your breath. 
maybe a little head rock side to side, whatever feels good. Awesome, we're gonna shift our weight forward into a tabletop position here, wrist stacked right below the shoulders, going into our cat cow. Again, working with your breath, inhaling as you round the back, scoop the belly, draw the chin to the chest, and exhale, press the hips back, lift the chin and chest upward. Freestyling your cat cow however you wish. Finding some release through the spine, really pressing the ground away as you lift up, find length through the body. That's it, coming back to a neutral spine. We're gonna extend the right arm and the left leg. Find length and then exhale, crunch the abs, bring the elbow and knee to touch. Inhale, reach. Exhale, crunch it all in. And inhale, reach. One more time, exhale. Nice work. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Left arm, right leg, reach, and then crunch it all in as you exhale. Really focusing on using your breath here. Every time you exhale, you're drawing the belly button closer to the spine. With each inhale, you're finding length and release. That's it. We're going to lift back up here into that down dog, widening our feet. We're going to shift our weight over to the left ankle, finding a little twist here. Focus on keeping those hips square to the back wall. Keeping the legs as straight as you can. You want to feel this pulling through the hamstrings and through those inner thighs. That's it hands come back forward we're gonna step back with that right leg finding ourselves in a high lunge both hands coming up overhead slight back bend at the top exhale folding forward let's do the same on the other side step that left leg back hands come up overhead inhale slight back bend and exhale folding forward Placing both feet together, we're just going to shift our weight, find our way down onto our mats. Rolling down onto our back, hugging those knees into the chest. Give yourself a little love here, a little rock side to side, massaging out that lower back. Bringing our arms into cactus pose now, rocking those knees side to side. Be sure to keep the shoulder blades in contact with your mat here as you gently rock, just letting the knees naturally fall, not forcing this movement. Exhale as you come to center, inhale as you drop to the side. Going into our figure four here, we're going to cross the right ankle over the left knee, draw that left thigh in towards the chest, again trying to keep the neck the head and the shoulders on your mat. Feeling a nice pull through that right hip and glute. Fantastic. All right, let's do the same thing on the other side. Cross the ankle, hug that right thigh in. Take some nice slow inhales and exhales. Just relaxing into this position. And release. Okay, setting up now for a bridge. We're gonna drive through the heels, lifting the hips, squeezing those glutes at the top, belly buttons drawn to the spine, and then very slowly lowering one vertebrae at a time until that lower back's flat on your mat and repeat. That's it, inhale as you lower, Exhale, drive through the heels, lift up and squeeze. This movement is nice and controlled. Focusing on breath. That's it, we're gonna extend the arms and legs. Now get a nice full body stretch. Inhale and then exhale, curl it all in. Inhale, find length through the body. Exhale, bring it all in. Nice small ball here. And then inhale, reach, 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 stretch it out. 
Last one, exhale, bring it in, squeeze, and pause for a moment at the top, and release. We're just going to finish things off today with some nice controlled breath, one hand on the heart, one on the belly, very slowly taking an inhale for two, three, four, five, and exhale, let it all out and repeat inhale for two three four five and exhale let it out awesome work guys staying here on your mat as long as you wish just finding some relaxation awesome work guys i hope you feel amazing i'll be back real soon with a brand new workout so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and of course, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. Have a wonderful day, guys. I'll see you at the next workout.